I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Hey guys, welcome back to the C and J show. And I got my favorite gin and juice here. And I have my sister Neek. And we hope that you guys are having a good day today. Let's get on with this topic. But before we do, um, we're going to play a clip of this and we'll be back. You guys can hear what we have to say and what we feel about this tragedy here. And our condolences goes out to the Fields family and her friends. Let's get on with this video. I just want to thank God for letting us all be here. On a cold winter day, but under a clear blue sky. We want justice for everybody. Hundreds of people gather in front of the Bridgeport Police Department, including the family of 23-year-old Lauren Smith Fields, a name you first heard on News 12 Connecticut December 22nd when we broke the story, telling the world for the first time about her untimely death two weeks before Christmas. We are doing this for Lauren. We're doing this for justice. We're doing this for every black girl that ever been harmed, that ever been in danger. Moments later, the growing crowd hit the streets. Lauren! Lauren! Passing the old city hall, then stopping for a moment on top of the historic Broad Street steps. I just wanted to stop and let everybody take a look at what nice looks like in America now. Let's keep going. Then the now surging crowd continued the march down Broad Street. On the way to the Margaret E. Morton Government Center. Once marchers arrived at 999 Broad Street, the crowd formed a semicircle surrounding Lauren's family, who were assembled behind a banner bearing her image. I just want everybody to know I love my daughter. And we need justice, we need answers. The family alleges an inadequate response by the Bridgeport Police Department after Lauren died in her apartment following a meeting with an older man arranged on the dating app Bumble. They say the department's handling of the case has been racially insensitive and they're suing, but keeping the focus on Lauren. Since she passed, this case has been covered 24 hours, seven days a week as a testimony to how vibrant and important she was. Family and supporters pausing to thank News 12 Connecticut thank you, for getting Lauren's story out to the world. Today would have been Lauren's 24th birthday. Her model-like image now the face of an emotionally charged call for justice. It is not natural for any mother or father to bury their 23-year-old child. As her family, supporters, and the media focus now on what will happen next, Loved ones say, whatever that is, they will be heard and shown respect. She was in college, and she has family and friends that love her. Amen. No one is going to discard Lauren Smithfield's my daughter as she's rubbish. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes Okay, Lauren Fields Now, first let's start off with this Number one, she was 23 years old Very beautiful young lady She was in college Now, this site, this bumble dating site this is how it works you go on there if you are if you are straight you guy looking for a girl girl looking for a guy how it works is this the female goes first she has to make the first move so in doing that she would have to message the guy first the man does not supposed to message. I don't know how the app have it working where they would know this, but the female have to message first because they want to keep their site pretty clean, not being like the rest of the sites where different things happen and whatever. Okay, so 
the female message the guy first. That's the first catch. The guy have 24 hours later to respond to that message. If he responds, then I guess you could now start forming. I guess they will unlock the, the account. You guys can start talking and doing whatever. And if it's the same sex, it doesn't matter. It still would be like 24 hours, but it, it's no waiting period. You just have to message that person and they would return the message right back. Okay. <clears throat> now, that's that. They did not say with this guy. And I know the way that it looks. Because if we had to look from the outside looking in, you have a black, beautiful young lady, 23 years old, and they said an older white guy. So I'm going to assume if they say older, I guess for his, his identity, they have not said his name, you know, how he looks. They just said an older white man. Now, if it is an older white guy, he would probably, in order for them to say older, probably have to be, if she's 23, he would probably have to be in his late 30s, early 40s or up. So, you, in order for you to even use those terms with an older white guy. And then I still don't even know about that because they could have said a middle age, you know, so it could have been, he could have been 50 years old, 60. Who who knows? They just said an older white guy. Okay. It's a lot that was wrong. Because when you think about the safest place in your life right now, you're going to go and say the safest place that you know, that you feel safe. Outside of whatever religion that you may have, if you go to church, you're going to say you're going to feel safe there. You're going to feel safe, you know, wherever. But the safest place that the that majority of everybody in this world can say they feel safe is at their own home. Because even though we know people can rob you, break into your house, do all this crazy stuff. You still supposed to have a certain advantage because it's your property, it's your house. You have things, you know where it's at to protect yourself. So if someone asks, where do I feel the safest? I have to, I would have to say I feel the safest in my own home. But what happens when an intruder comes into your home and now you can't feel even safe at your own house? So now the, the guy said three days prior. They, I guess, been talking, you know, for three days. So the fourth day, he decides, they decide, because it, it, you know, it was at her place that she decided, yeah, come over or whatever. And here it is. So what I'm assuming, he spent the night. Because he said the day before, they met up at her house. The next day, she has blood coming out her nose and she's on the floor. Now, I don't know how much a sense that that would even make for anybody to be on a freaking floor in your own house. I, I just can't think of it. I just really can't. Now, I know that some people, um, you know, they want to watch TV. Some people will go make a little pallet and sit in front, you know, lay down, I guess, chill, make a little pallet on the floor and watch TV or do something. But I don't, that's different. I really don't think by it being your own house that you would be on no floor. And when you think about when people faint, pass out, whatever they do, majority of the times, you never fall backwards. You are going to fall forward or you just fall 
and then you would have to be on your side if you just fell straight down you just fell it's really hard for someone if they're going to fall if if you just fainted and let somebody punch you in your face and you got knocked out we're talking about fainting here you're going to go forward or you drop just like that now what's crazy to me is this now that we know it was Fentanyl and a prescription drug, alcohol. I don't like to use the terms when people say they know their kin. They know their child. They know this. They know that. I don't. I try not to get into that because I, I know that everybody shows a different personality, a different side, depending on who you are around. That's just the way that that go. When you are around friends, you let your guard down. You're being different. When you're in front of your parents, you're still, you're showing them one way. Not like you're being fake or anything, but you're just showing them a way. And you're giving them respect. This is your parents, your siblings, and everybody else. And then if you want to get a chance to know someone in a relationship or something, you're going to show them a different side. And they may know some things about you that your family do not know. It's, a, it's, it's different. And it, it does work that way. And I can truly say that. My thing would be this. You're 23. I don't know this, this man whether it was on some type of I really like you or a sugar daddy or um who knows what it could have been. Who like seriously, who knows? I don't know if they were if this is something. Cause you would also have to feel like this well what well, dang. If you which they have something going on right now with this fake noise coming back. This is a very dangerous drug. It does not play. I don't know what's all in it. I don't even. It's, it's just crazy. It really is. And that drug. It is so quick. To have you off of your feet. And in somebody's hospital. Near death. Or you basically will die. It's just that. It's, it's, it needs to be off the market. Off the streets. Off of everything. Because it, it's, I think that you would stand a better chance taking heroin, meth, cocaine, and everything else mixed together before you take this. So now we have to think about, okay, did this man do, he came into the house, you felt a little comfortable to let him in. You had to feel a little comfortable to even let him in. Is it something... That you've done. Is it. Something that he put. Into. Your drink. However well it went. The ending didn't look good. Because what it looks like is this. It looked like. You drugged her. And after. Because this is still a grown woman. A young lady. But she's still a grown woman. You are an older man. And the way that all this looks. It kind of looked like maybe what you decided to do. Y'all was drinking, whatever you was doing. Now, if you slip something in her drink, you say she had fell ill. The family would know this girl's history, whether or not she has different medical issues. So if she fell ill, it wasn't feeling good. You still was there. Either she was too sick to tell you to go. Or you were too scared. And you didn't know what to do. Because one thing about these older men. With, with the majority of them. They already have a family at home. And I never really understood. How could you have. A family at home. You know you're not going to leave your home. You're not going to do none of this stuff. But if you get caught, 
you're willing to kill, kidnap, do anything just just so that the person don't even know to find out your business, which is very crazy and silly to me. Because if you love somebody that much, why the heck did you even try to cheat in the first place? It just don't make no sense. And I think what happened was this. Everybody can party a little different. I don't know if it was something because he's older. Let me spike a drink, put something in there and take advantage of her. Or, you know, but the autopsy did not say that. So, or even if it was something she could have done, but not realizing that maybe she took something already and to flush it down with alcohol or anything else is just, is just ain't no good. But I don't know why she was on the floor on her back. You cannot get credit for just calling no police. And the police department I guess, allegedly with the family, have done a lot of things incorrect. How the police department handled things is like this. If you, if it shows that you're a prostitute, a drug dealer, you had an overdose, gangs, anything of that sort, in a certain area, they're going to treat it as such. That's the way their system goes. Because to them, your life ain't worth much living anyway. You didn't, you didn't got an overdose, so hey, we already know what happened. You had an overdose, it ain't no need to call the corners. There ain't no need to do good investigation because you had an overdose. That's something that you did. And we we'd have seen this a billion times. So um, this man is innocent. This person, they don't look into a goddamn thing. And it's, and it's very sad. Now, I'm going to hope and God's going to do this too. To whether you choose to share the video or you want to just speak on certain things yourself. We have to tell our kids and be able to let them know you have to learn because sometimes you just don't think of you. One, you knew him for three days. I'm not passing on judgment, but you knew him for three days. He was an older guy, and I know people play all types of games. But he should also have never even knew where you stayed at. Because in three days, you cannot trust anybody to know what the heck they're going to do. Now, if y'all both got stoned and he woke up and, oh, shoot, you on the floor and let me just call the police and then leave up out of here. It's crazy. If you was innocent, you should have been able to show your face, say your name, say what happened. We both, if you look at me right now, I took I took some fentanyl too. We both took it. It's just she t- took it and did not make it. Why is your identity hidden? What, for, what, what, what is the reason? I don't even understand that piece. <laughs> I, I just don't. And I don't understand how the police walks inside of an apartment, someone's home, and decide because you called the police and you supposedly stayed that you're just such a good guy, you know, you can leave. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny, for letting us know this. We got it from here. We'll just let the, the family know. It didn't look so good. <laughs> hey, that's it. Everybody else coming here, you don't have to do anything with the scene and the evidence. It's it's already clear. It looked like it was a it, it looked like it was something with a, a drug overdose. So we'll handle that just as such. It's probably just um a drug addict or something. Wrong again. <laughs> I just don't get it. I really I don't. But guys, you can leave likes, comment, subscribe. Do the things you have to do. And again, our condolences goes out to the family. And I pray and hope to God. That justice is served because I'm so sick of things happening 
to our people. To, and I have to say our people, anybody but to our people. And it looked like something that could be solved. And it, and, and it came. It's just at the end, it's like it's... Thank you.